Nicolaus Copernicus, born February 19, 1473, died May 24, 1543, was a Renaissance polymath, active as a mathematician, astronomer and Catholic canon, who formulated a model of the universe that placed the Sun rather than Earth at its center, in all likelihood. Copernicus developed his model independently of Aristarchus of Samos, an ancient Greek astronomer who had formulated such a model some 18 centuries earlier. The publication of Copernicus' model in his book De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium, just before his death in 1543, was a major event in the history of science, triggering the Copernican Revolution and making a pioneering contribution to the scientific revolution. Copernicus was born and died in Royal Prussia, a region that had been part of the Kingdom of Poland since 1466, a polyglot and polymath. He obtained a doctorate in canon law and was a mathematician, astronomer, physician, classic scholar, translator, governor diplomat and economist, in 1517 he derived a quantity theory of money, a key concept in economics, and in 1519 he formulated an economic principle that later came to be called Gresham's Law. Life Nicolaus Copernicus was born on February 19, 1473 in the city of Torun, Thorn, in the province of Royal Prussia, in the crown of the Kingdom of Poland. His father was a merchant from Krakow, and his mother was the daughter of a wealthy Torun merchant, Nicolaus was the youngest of four children. His brother Andreas Andrew became an Augustinian canon in Fraunburg. Fraunburg, his sister Barbara, named after her mother, became a Benedictine nun and, in her final years, prioress of a convent in Helno Kuln. She died after 1517. His sister Katerina married the businessman and Turun city councillor Berthel Gertner and left five children, whom Copernicus looked after to the end of his life. Copernicus never married and is not known to have had children, but from at least 1531 until 1539 his relations with Anna Schilling, a live-in housekeeper, were seen as scandalous by two bishops of Varmia, who urged him over the years to break off relations with his mistress. Father's family Copernicus' father's family can be traced to a village in Silesia between Nyssa and Prudnik. The village's name has been variously spelled Copernic, 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 and today Koperniki. In the 14th century members of the family began moving to various other Silesian cities, to the Polish capital Krakow 1367, and to Torun 1400. The father, Mikolai the Elder, likely the son of Jan, came from the Krakow line. Nikolaus was named after his father, who appears in records for the first time as a well-to-do merchant who dealt in copper, selling it mostly in Danzig. He moved from Krakow to Torun around 1458. Torun situated on the Vistula River, was at that time embroiled in the Thirteen Years' War, in which the Kingdom of Poland and the Prussian Confederation, an alliance of Prussian cities, gentry and clergy, fought the Teutonic Order over control of the region. In this war Hanseatic cities like Danzig and Torun, Nicolaus Copernicus's hometown, chose to support the Polish king, Casimir IV J. G. Ellen, who promised to respect the city's traditional vast independence, which the Teutonic Order had challenged, Nicolaus' father was actively engaged in the politics of the day, and supported Poland and the cities against the Teutonic Order. In 1454 he mediated negotiations between Poland's Cardinal Zbigniew Olsnicki and the Prussian cities for repayment of war loans. In the Second Peace of Thorn, 1466, the Teutonic Order formally relinquished all claims to its western province, which as Royal Prussia remained a region of the crown of the Kingdom of Poland until the first, 1772, and second, 1793, partitions of Poland. Copernicus's father married Barbara Watson Road, the astronomer's mother, between 1461 and 1464. He died about 1483. Mother's family Nicolau's mother Barbara Watson Road was the daughter of a wealthy Torun patrician and city councillor, Lucas Watson Road the Elder, deceased 1462, and Katarzyna, widow of Jan Pekow, mentioned in other sources as Katarzyna Rudiger Hente Modlebog, deceased 1476. The Modlebogs were a prominent Polish family, who had been well known in Poland's history since 1271. The Watson Road family, like the Copernic family, had come from Silesia from near Swidnica, and after 1360 had settled in Torun, they soon became one of the wealthiest and most influential patrician families. Through the Watson Road's extensive family relationships by marriage, Copernicus was related to wealthy families of Torun, Thorngadansk, Danzig, and Elblanc, Elbing, and to prominent Polish noble families of Prussia, the Zopskis, Konopakis, and Kosylekis. Lucas and Catherine had three children, 
Lucas Watson Rode the Younger, who would become Bishop of Varmia and Copernicus's patron, Barbara, the astronomer's mother, deceased after 1495. And Christina deceased before 1502, who in 1459 married the Torun merchant and mayor, Tiedman von Allen. Lucas Watson Rode the Elder, a wealthy merchant and in 1439-1462 president of the judicial bench, was a decided opponent of the Teutonic Knights, in 1453 he was the delegate from Torun, the Grugids, Groudens, conference that planned the uprising against them. During the ensuing 13 years war, 1454-1466, he actively supported the Prussian city's war effort with substantial monetary subsidies, with political activity in Torun and Danzig and by personally fighting in battles at Lassen, Lessen, and Malbork, Marienburg. He died in 1462, Lucas Watson Rode the Younger, the astronomer's maternal uncle and patron, was educated at the University of Krakow and at the Universities of Cologne and Bologna. He was a bitter opponent of the Teutonic Order, and its grandmaster once referred to him as the Devil Incarnate. In 1489 Watson Rode was elected Bishop of Varmia, Ermland, Ermland, against the preference of King Casimir IV, who had hoped to install his own son in that seat, as a result, Watson Road quarreled with the king in Il Casimir IV's death three years later. Watson Road was then able to form close relations with three successive Polish monarchs, John I. Albert, Alexander J. G. Ellen, and Sigismund I. the Old. He was a friend and key advisor to each ruler, and his influence greatly strengthened the ties between Varmia and Poland proper. Watson Road came to be considered the most powerful man in Varmia, and his wealth connections and influence allowed him to secure Copernicus' education and career as a canon at Frombork Cathedral. Languages. Copernicus is postulated to have spoken Latin, German, and Polish with equal fluency. He also spoke Greek and Italian, and had some knowledge of Hebrew. The vast majority of Copernicus's extant writings are in Latin, the language of European academia in his lifetime. Arguments for German being Copernicus's native tongue are that he was born into a predominantly German speaking urban patrician class using German next to Latin, as language of trade and commerce in written documents, and that, while studying canon law at the University of Bologna in 1496. He signed into the German Natio, Natio Germanorum, a student organization which, according to its 1497 bylaws, was open to students of all kingdoms and states whose mother tongue was German. However, according to French philosopher Alexander Coire, Copernicus's registration with the Natio Germanorum does not in itself imply that Copernicus considered himself German, since students from Prussia and Silesia were routinely so categorized, which carried certain privileges that made it a natural choice for German-speaking students, regardless of their ethnicity or self-identification. Name The surname Copernic, 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 in various spellings, is recorded in Krakow from about 1350, apparently given to people from the village of Koperniki, prior to 1845 rendered Copernic, Copernic, Copernic and Copernic, in the Duchy of Nyssa, 10 kilometers south of Nyssa, and now 10 kilometers north of the Polish-Czech border, Nicolaus Copernicus' great-grandfather is recorded as having received citizenship in Krakow in 1386. The toponym Copernic, modern Koperniki, has been variously tied to the Polish word for dill. Koper, and the German word for copper, kupfer, the suffix nick, or plural, denotes a Slavic and Polish agent noun. As was common in the period, the spellings of both the toponym and the surname vary greatly. Copernicus was rather indifferent about orthography. During his childhood, about 1480, the name of his father was recorded in Thorn as Nicholas Copernic. At Krakow he signed himself, in Latin Nicolaus Nicolai de Tarunia Nicolaus, son of Nicolaus, of Torun, at Bologna. In 1496 he registered in the Matricula Nobilissimi Germanorum Collegii, Resp, and all Clarissimi Nationis Germanorum, of the Natio Germanica Bononiae, as Dominus Nicolaus Copperlink de Thorn. 9 Grossetti, at Padua he signed himself Nicolaus Copernic, later Copernicus, the astronomer thus Latinized his name to Copernicus, generally with two Ps, in 23 of 31 documents studied, but later in life he used a single P, on the title page of De Revolution Ibis, Reticus published the name as Nicolae Copernici.